Master Chronometer. Considered the best Omega watch for sure. It goes besides announcing that if there's solely room for one Omega in your collection, it has to be the Moon Watch. The new Moon Watch Master Chronometer model offers you even fewer reasons no longer to personalize one. It introduces a new case that harkens return to the fourth era of the Speedmaster Reference 105.12 from the 1960s that used to be the one that Buzz Aldrin used on the moon. More importantly, Omega ultimately modified the bracelet to this new tapering design. It facets small middle links, a fantastically completed clasp, and it is amazingly comfortable. If you had simply bought the preceding moon watch before January 2021, simply order this bracelet separately. It will exchange your lifestyle as a Speedmaster owner. Inside this watch is Omega's Caliber 3861, the motion debated in 2019 in the Apollo Roman 11 limited versions of the Speedmaster, and it additionally powered the Snoopy Award model from 2020. It's a motion that is primarily based on the preceding Caliber 1861, however with a coaxial escapement, anti-magnetic alloys, and a master chronometer certification through Metis. The precision exhibited by Omega now averages 0 minutes to 5 seconds per day, rather than 1 to plus 10 minutes per day with the preceding caliber. All important points about this Speedmaster Professional Moonwatch Master Chronometer can be observed here. I should have listed the Snoopy Award right here as well, but as with all versions of the Moonwatch with a Master Chronometer movement, it's an extremely good watch to have. Now, let's check out the second one. I hope you will like that too. Number 2. Seamaster Drive 300M – The Best Omega Watch Overall The long-awaited deal for the Seamaster Diver 300M got here in 2018. I will be sincere here, it took me a while to get used to the stainless metal bracelet. I have some of the old Seamaster Diver 300M models with the 9-row bracelet. At some point, I consider feeling that they have been a bit outdated. Somehow, though, I began to like the ancient stainless metal bracelet again, and now the new bracelet feels a bit too cleaned up. What can I say? I grew up in the 1980s and 90s. Other updates have been the dimension from 41mm to 42mm, a ceramic dial and bezel, and of course, an in-house developed movement. The 300M used to be it, nevertheless is Omega's bread and butter watch, but it used to be additionally one of the watches that, in its preceding iteration, nevertheless depended on an ETA-based motion modified with the coaxial escapement. This caliber 8800 is licensed as a master chronometer and seen via the case return of the watch. With a water resistance of 300 meters, there's nearly no cause to take this watch off the wrist. There's a bunch of versions of the 300M in all kinds of colorings and materials, such as chronographs. Then, of course, there's the exclusive titanium model for the modern-day Bond movie, No Time to Die. You can discover the watch someplace else in this overview of the 10 exceptional Omega watches. At first, I used to be falling in love with the metal and said the gold variant on a rubber strap as you can examine here. However, after seeing it attempting this white dial beauty, I discovered I was all for it. Number 3. Constellation Globemaster Omega brought the Globemaster in 2015. Or, extra accurately, the manufacturer reintroduced it as the Globemaster identified dates all the way lower back to the early 1950s. At the time, Omega had a problem exporting its Constellation watch to the USA. This had to do with the title of the watch. So Omega is known as a Globemaster till the naming problem used to be resolved. Anyway, the Constellation Globemaster was once the first watch to have the Master Chronometer certification through Metis. I used to be there when this Constellation Globemaster made its 2015 Base World debut. That's the place I developed my crush for this watch, especially the Senna Gold model, with its pipe and dial. This watch pays homage to the original Constellations from the 1950s and 1960s. The fluted bezel, meanwhile, was originally found on the C model constellations of the late 1960s. But the actual wake-up name got here when Omega sent me this Sedna Gold watch for a review. Number 4. Seamaster Ploprof 1200M The Ploprof is unexpectedly gaining a following, no matter its awkward form and dimensions. I very own the metal version, which was once in manufacturing from 2009 until 2019, and it has ended up one of my favorite watches that I continually hold shut by. 
It took me a while to finalize whether or not I preferred an authentic Plo Prof 600, introduced in 1971, or one of the modern-day versions. I ended up with the latter due to the fact I desired to be in a position to use it as an everyday driver take it with me on holidays, and put on it into the swimming pool I refuse to swim in the sea or ocean. Although you may be capable to discover yourself a metal one at one of the boutiques or approved dealers, the titanium fashions are nevertheless in Omega's catalog. The high-quality element about the titanium fashions is that they lack a date window and have the current master chronometer movement. The 2009 model had Omega's caliber 8500, which didn't have the META certification. The model return exhibits caliber 8,912, a byproduct of the 8,900 motion used in the Globemaster. This is a serious diving watch, and it wipes the ground with the opposition out there. There's simply no alternative for a PloProf 1200M. Although you can order a rubber strap for the PloProf 1200M, make sure to usually decide on the mesh bracelet. As you can see, the button on top of the watch releases the bi-directional bezel when you push it. On the decrease, the proper aspect of the case is the automated helium getaway valve. It ensures there will be no problems when you're in the saturation chamber after a deep dive. Now, it's time to give a final verdict on this topic. While all of these Omega watches are royal and men's favorite, you can carry any of them on your special occasions and on your daily routine. I hope you will like all of these watches. Do not forget to share your favorite one in the comment section. And also do let me know about the topic which you want to be in our next video. I will try my best to cover that. So, we'll see you soon with another interesting video. Till it take care, like, share, and subscribe to the channel for future videos.